लेमन पाउडर सॉल्ट वाटर दो लेमन आप का सर बायोलॉजी प्रोजेक्ट गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन माई नेम इज शिमा साधिया गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज जोशना गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज तबसुम वी आर फ्रॉम नाइन्थ वी आर फ्रॉम नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड We are from 9th standard today. We are participating in science science expo. Our experiment is the structure of nephron. The structure of nephron contains two parts. First, in that first part, malphinian malphinian body. Second, revian body. In that malphinian body contains two parts. First, glomerulus. Glomerulus means it's a blood of fine capillaries. Next, revial body consists of RCT and the explain of a DCT. This is the PCT. PCT full form is a paroxysmal convoluted tubelet, and this is the DCT. DCT full form is distal convoluted tubule, and uh, this is called a peritubular network, and this is the collecting duct. Thank you. Now I am going to explain about PCT. This PCT contains the useful substances like proteins, uh, etc. This uh, PCT contains seventy five percent of water, and this is called the Henry tube. Thank you. Today I am going to explain the structure of nephron DCT. DCT in DCT this peritubular network secretes excess amount of salts like salts like sodium chloride and waste like uric or uric acid, ammonia etc. And this urine passes into collecting duct. Collecting duct which opens which opens into pelvis. Pelvis opens into Uterus, uterus opens into urinary bladder. It is, it is also contains 300 to 800 ml of urine, urine, urinary bladder. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for listening our experiment with carefully and with patience. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tanuja. My name is Kalanjali. We are, we are from Ninth Standard. Standard. Today we are going to explain about human embryo. Human embryo means uh, stages of pregnancy. Month one, as the fertilized egg grows, a watertight sac forms around it, gradually filling with fluid. Month two, each year begins as a little fo fold of the skin at the side of the head. Tiny parts are eventually grow into arms and legs. Come to month three, the arms, hands, fingers, feet, and toes are fully formed in month three. Month four, the fetal heartbeat may now be audible to audible to hear with the instrument called Doppler. Now comes to month five. You maybe feel the fetus moving around the around the fetus and the fetus and developing muscles and exercising them. Now comes to month six. In this stage, the eyes open and the fetus uh, respond to sound by by moving or increasing the pulses. Now comes to month seven. At this point, hearing is fully developed. The fetus changes position frequently. now comes to month 8 the brain developing rapidly at this time and the fetus can see here most internal systems are well developed 
comes to month 9 during these days the fetus continues grow and mature the lungs are close to being fully developed at this point now the fetus can blink close the eyes uh, turn the head and respond to sound thank, thank you. you good morning i am ashwak i am studying fifth class today i am going to explain a solar and a lunar eclipse in a lunar eclipse, the sun, the earth, the moon are in a straight line with earth in mid between of moon and the sun. Here, the earth blocks the sunlight and forms a shadow on the moon and completes it co completely with darkness. He here, the moon does not look very bright but appears reddish. There are two types of lunar eclipse. A total lunar eclipse and a partial lunar eclipse. Solar eclipse. In a solar eclipse, the sun, the moon, the earth are in a straight line. With moon in between of the earth and the sun. Here the moon blocks the sunlight and forms a shadow on the earth. The people in this area of shadow cannot see the sun at all. There are two types of solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse and a partial solar eclipse. A total solar eclipse happens about every one and a half years. Thank you. My name is Vichu Jeja. I am studying sound class. My name is Damarisho. I am studying sound standard. Today my topic is human anatomy. Today I am explaining about human anatomy. This is body, this is human anatomy. Inside the body, arteries and veins, muscular, ribs, digestive system, small intestine, large intestine. Lungs, lung anatomy, heart, heart anatomy, skull, human brain. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon to one and all. My name is Haas. I am studying some standard. Human excretory system. Human excretory system, they have two kidneys. The cute two kidney yeah. shape is binal shape. They, the two kidneys are reddish colored. They are, their triangle shape is called saffron. Inside the saffron, it's so soft. There are renal veins and renal arteries. The calcium stores the urine and gets to the pelvis. The pelvis directly connected to the ureters. Ureters directly connected to the bladder. The bladder contains the nearly 300 ml to 800 ml of urine. The urine excreted by the anus. Thank you. Good morning to one and all. My name is S. Prentastu. I am studying the class in Sri Chaitanya Technical School, Singhinaga branch. Today I am about telling soil layer model points. Soil is a mixture of Good morning everyone, my name is Varga, I am studying this class, I explained vacuum cleaner also known as simply as a vacuum cleaner over these days that converts section in order to remove dirty from floor. A vacuum cleaner is an electric machine, a fan which is present inside the vacuum cleaner sucks air. Vacuum cleaner is suction to pick up dust and dirt from floors, carpets, etc. Now I am showing you the vacuum cleaner for Nowadays, all farmers use chemical farming. Chemical farming use health issues in, in encourage, but organic farming use best health, old and encourage. In organic farming, we use animals' dung. This farming is safe and healthy.
सो फार्मर्स डू नॉट यूज केमिकल फार्मिंग ओनली यूज ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग स्टे हेल्थी एंड हैप्पीनेस इफ यू यूज केमिकल केमिकल्स मोर एंड मोर टाइम्स द द लैंड ऑल्सो स्पॉइल्ड ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग इज बेस्ट केमिकल फार्मिंग इज बेस्ट The people of the village lead a peaceful and simple life. People used to see wake up early in the morning in the village. People mostly involved in agriculture activities. More are there trees and crops, diversity, flowers and etc. Thank you. My name is Amro Chandra. I am studying third class today. Telling about brain. Brain is the important part. in our human body second point brain the brain and the spinal cord make the central nervous system brain has three main parts they are uh, cerebrum cerebellum and the medulla oblongata thank you i am tanvi from 6th standard i am padmavati nagashrestha from 6th standard we are going to explain about drip irrigation drip irrigation is a type of micro irrigation system that delivers water directly to the roots of plants drop by drop the benefits of drip irrigation is are numerous it is highly <coughs> efficient as it minimizes the loss of water due to evaporation and runoff secondly it reduces the growth of water secondly it reduces the growth of weeds thank you